This time, we're going to take a look at some of the basics of using the debugger. Right now, I have a small bug where this function is printing out that 5 is greater than 5. So, I'm going to place a breakpoint on the same line as the function. This means that when I debug my program, it will stop at this line. I can also add a condition to make sure the program only stops when i is equivalent to 5, but this is definitely more of an advanced thing. By clicking on the green arrow, we can choose the second option to start the debugger. Though, as with most actions, I could have always just used a key binding instead. Okay, now we can start stepping through bit by bit. We'll start by clicking step into, which steps us into the function. Then I'll click step over to move us to the next line. And ah, I bet you can already see the silly mistake here. It appears I was checking that i was less than 5 instead of less than and equal to 5. Alright, now that's all fixed up, I can step out of the function to bring us back to where we were at the start. Now let's run it again just to be sure. Yes, the bug has now been fixed. 5 is no longer greater than 5. Well, those were some debugging basics. Now get out there and go get creative.